Hello, those and angels. Welcome back to my channel. To first time here, I'm Katrisha. Please subscribe and join the Katrisha family and be a doll or a ninja. So today I'm talking about South African women dating Nigerian men for money. We know it's not about love, okay? We know it's about soft life. It's about buying those ex expensive brands and, of course, creating content. Okay. So my worry is like. Um, it's how it's becoming a culture, a thing, a trend, like everyone is like wants to do it, okay? Because they watch these influencers and people online like dating married men and I feel like South African women are starting to worship Nigerian men. But what is the price to pay? Is it only sex? I don't think so, okay? Like as a woman, how do you feel about like a man giving you money? You don't know where it's coming from. You want to tell me that like all this Nigerian men, they are making a lot of money because they are doing like have legal jobs. Like, don't you think maybe it's a, it's a, they make money through human trafficking or body parts? Like you just take money. You don't know where it's coming from. Like, does that sit well with you? Like, what if that expensive that you bought, like came from those body parts from your neighbor's relatives or your neighbor's daughter back in Makaya. And when you just flash money, it's very dangerous. And I feel like most people that think the only price to pay it is only sex. Don't you think that some of them, they are richer is like, hmm? Come, like, what if in the next five years, it will be difficult for you to have kids, okay? Because uh, I don't think all of them is just sex. Because a man can get sex anyway. In fact, a man can just get sex for free, okay? So I don't think like a man will just give you 30k a month just because you're giving him sex. Obviously, I think the things that they do that are spiritually and they benefit by sleeping with a lot of women. But because our sisters, like they're not spiritually awake... They don't know these things. The, the only thing they care about is soft life. But if you are paying spiritually, but you don't know. And I'm not saying you should date broke guys or don't date rich guys. So I'm saying this hype is, is too much. Next thing in the next coming five years, like you cannot get pregnant because of the things that you're doing right now. Some they are paying with their lives. What about this thing of haleling, like especially like most people who are like, oh, say be well, say be well, say be well. One day you'll find yourself in Japan, one day you'll find yourself in Dubai, like in a cage, and they will use you as dog. You'll be a sex slave because you see about all things that you, you don't know. You'll try and you will have like a bad luck. What if Gube Nguenshe and then Ube victim of human trafficking? The last thing is that South African women should stop comparing South African men with criminals. Stop doing that, okay? If you're hustling, hustle, but don't compare like criminals with South African men, okay? But there's always consequences with every action that you do. So be careful. Stop zibawelling things, okay? Thank you. Bye.